everyone, this is Kinga again and today I want to show you a makeup that's I think a really nice change uh, to regular black or brown eyeliners it will be a light liner and rosy lips and cheeks so something quite lovely for autumn I hope you enjoy that, let's go! First for base makeup um, I've got the sun cream on already this is Avance SPF 50 for dry and sensitive skin and I find it really good on the makeup and my foundation will be Shiseido Synchro Skin Glow because sadly I don't have any other foundation at the moment and I have to use this expensive one but of course firstly the concealer under the eyes Under eye concealer, I'm using a Bourjois Radiance Reveal at the moment. Shade number one ivory, but what's important, it has a peachy tone to it, so it's really good for blue and purple tones under the eyes. Much better, right? <laughs> Last step is powder, and here I've got a very tired <laughs> Rimmel's Match Perfection. It's a really light powder, so like it doesn't have much of mattifying power, if you get what I mean. But for dry skin like mine, I think it's just good for fixing the makeup so that it stays. Okay, so now we've got very bad lighting, right? Is that any better? Okay, let's try. <laughs> it's very yellow, but I hope we can make it work. I will use a light liner and it will be this one from Kiko. I hope you can see that. See? It's very, very light. It's almost invisible on skin. So, to make it visible on the eyelid, I will take a darker eyeshadow so it makes some more contrast and the light liner is visible. And I will use one of my favorite and most trusted palettes of all time. This is very old Cryolan one. You can see it's been through a lot, but still no pen. I will use this medium shade and sculpt the eyelids the way I usually do. So just the outer corner in a V shape. the contour and with a flat brush like this 
the same shade goes all over the lid. I changed the brush just because the flat one will make the color more even as opposed to the blending brush. I will put a little bit of this medium brown underneath just for slightly smoky feel it will be very nice for, for fall for fall, it's in summer fall for autumn now I will take a smaller brush a little bit like, like a pencil brush and a darker color this it's a warmer tone of brown and i'm gonna shade at the outer corner and near the lash line so it will be a bit darker See the this lashes like <sighs> goodbye my lash goodbye oh my lash goodbye please don't sing again And with the blending brush again, I will just make sure the edges are soft. Okay, and this is it. Very simple shadow. Hair back. So now you can see the shadow, it frames the eyes quite nicely. And now the liner. Since it's a uh, light color i feel like it doesn't have to be super precise and i'm not gonna draw any kind of wing i will be sneezing okay not now <laughs> so with this pencil i'm just going along the lash line and I want to keep it really close to the lash line so no space between that and all along here I will just end it naturally and I hope you can see it in the camera but it really pops can you see the difference? Oh no, <laughs> not this finger! So again... It's super easy And kind of attention catching when you blink Let's move on to the lashes. My lashes have been falling out like crazy recently, so especially on this eye, it's it's like up and down, up and down, up and down. <laughs> it looks quite poor. <laughs> but hopefully mascara can save this. Like, <laughs> what is that? <gasps> oh, no! Okay, 
I will use a clean brush to soften a little bit. I will add a little bit on the lower lash line. Just a tiny bit. <sighs> and let's erase that. Shit happens. So what? Okay. So as you can see, the shadow at first seemed quite intense. I mean, it still is, but with mascara and everything, I think it balanced well. For eyebrows, just quick brush. I'm not gonna even fill in today, <laughs> just why? Why should I? And for blusher, it will be very rosy pink that I really like. Yeah, this lighting is like crazy bright. It... Let's try. Like so. Can you see the rosiness? I'm not drawing any kind of definite shape, it's just naturally like hugging the cheeks. And I like to put some blusher on my temples, the hairline. It's like mm, me draping. <laughs> Lovely. And to finish off equally rosy lip it's called Windsor Rose like what can I add and again with no lip liner and just going on naturally is ready and I am ready to go to get rid of those awful names. <laughs> I hope you have a great day and I will see you again so bye!